Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here. Today we are going to be playing Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, I'm sure you've heard all kinds of nonsense going on around this game, but it doesn't matter anymore. The game's out. It's playable. We are going to play this amazing collection. And I am playing it with the Pro Controller Stand 1. Normally, I would play with my SN30 Pro or something, but because each system had its own individual controller, the N64 varied greatly from the GameCube, which both of them were so different from the Wii Remote Nunchuck that I'm pretty sure this was optimized for the Pro Controller, so we're going to see it. I was going to try it out with this one, as you guys may have seen in the other video, but I'm not sure if this one has full functionality, just like the Pro Controller. So, knowing that Nintendo probably built this with either the uh, Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller in mind. That's how I'm going to play. So we're going to see how this game looks. We're going to go through each of the Mario titles, uh, give it a little go, uh, maybe test it out, maybe a boss or so. We'll see what we do. Um, just give it just give it a bit and uh, do Mario 64, then Sunshine, and then Galaxy, and see if the games are as I remember them better or worse. Um, now, the N64 version, Super Mario 64, is the one that holds the most nostalgia for me because that's the one I played the most. I got that for the Christmas right after I got my N64 for my birthday that year, and I think I got a 97. I don't remember getting it in 96. I think I got a 97. So it had been out for just a little bit, and then uh, I got that with Mortal Kombat Trilogy for my birthday, and then Mario 64 for Christmas along with... I want to say Diddy Kong Racing and Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. So that held a, a place in my heart. I beat the crap out of that game. Now, Super Mario Sunshine, I had it on the GameCube. I was working at GameStop at the time. And uh, I got it when it came out. Played it a good bit. Never beat the game, but I played it quite a bit. Mario Galaxy, it was on the Wii. I think I played the game for an hour. I don't know. I really didn't like it. Didn't like the motion controls. There's something about the game I can't remember that I just didn't like. Maybe I'll figure it out when I start playing. But I remember there was something about it that I didn't like. And Galaxy 2 I never played. I do own it now. But I've never played Galaxy 2. So, But that's no big deal. That really doesn't need to be in this collection. This is all just the standard 3D Mario games. The first ones that came out on anything for those generations. And it's understandable. So... Let's take a look. Let's see how these games play and if they're just as good or just as bad as I remember. Ooh, how about that? Just goes right into the game and just is like boop, 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 boop. There you go. Oh, that's really cool. That menu is is nifty. I remember when all these came out, 96, that's when I got my uh, Nintendo 64. I got the Mario for Christmas that year. I actually didn't get it at launch. I got the Mortal Kombat Trilogy and I think that's all I had from my birthday until Christmas and I just rented things. Now this one, I was working at GameStop when this came out with the GameCube and uh, I got it, played it for a while, I was just like, I was hoping more along the lines of Mario 64. And um, it was good, I just never beat it. Now nah, this one, I bought it, played for like an hour, and then said, nope, don't like the Wii controls. The soundtracks, that's pretty cool, we're not gonna go over those in this video. Let's play, of course, Mario 64. Let's start with uh, the best.
It's me, Mario. It's me, Mario. Hello. Okay, so it is not in widescreen. Ah, you can still do it. Yeah. Oh! It still has all the crazy effects. I'm trying to grab his eyebrow. Let me grab the eyebrow. I remember you could. Okay, so you hold the R button. Same. There you go. We're going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. Of course, I have to play with the craziness before I play the full game. Oops, let's grab that. Go down that way. Then we're going to grab this and go over this way. We're going to spin his head around. We're gonna turn it back around and watch it go. Okay, I'm done. Let's let's play the actual game. Such a good. Wow. She made the cake for me. Hit me right in the nostalgia bone. God, it looks so much better, too. <laughs> wow, it looks much better than playing it on a original uh, 64. And I still remember exactly which one it was. So, both A and B are jump. Oh, and now they made the D-pad move you just as the, um, the stick would. Okay, R is the camera. L and R are both cameras. So, L is the Z button. Oh, so is R. Oh, sorry, L L2, R2. Or Z, R, and Z, L, I should say. X and Y are both punch. Okay, that works. And the right stick axe is the, the C buttons. Okay. So this might be a little longer video now that I think about it. Because we're going to go uh, take a little test drive of all three games. I thought I was just going to maybe look at each one and get my perspective. But... I think I want to try out a bit. So I remember you would have to do this. And then you look this way and then... Oh, I'm facing the wrong direction. Oh, you can't do it yet. Dude! Nope, still didn't work. I'll never get tired of playing this game. Bop, 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 bop. 
It feels different. Maybe just because, you know, it should be played with a Pooey N64 controller. Ba bombs. Oh, I just started buying the uh, the Lego packs, the mini packs. Not really. Not really the big ones, just like I said, just the mini packs, just to get the little figures. I'm looking for the 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 Mario by itself, or whatever pack Mario comes with. I can't find Mario anywhere. He just pushed me. No, that was not me being weird or not knowing what I'm doing. It's just... No! Ow! There we go, number two. Funny how certain things you remember. That's weird. Ow. It's funny how you just kind of remember certain things. I feel this was like always the easiest star to get. Am I missing one? What was I missing? Oh, that's where the eight red coins came from. I forget which one it was. I feel like a pooey. I know I should be commentating more, but I'm just enjoying the, the crap out of this game. I remember just run, just run, just run. I know you can get up to the, go to the other side and slide down. But this was so much more fun running like this. Yeah, number five. Mm. 
All the way up, 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 all the way up. Oh, there we go. Pew. Yeah, that's right. You gotta do the the bumbity bum bum. Wee. Wee. To be honest, I don't remember how to beat this guy. I'm the Big Bob Bomb, Lord of all blasting matter, King of Kabooms, the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my Imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my gods, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me? Oh, that sounds weird. To this royal turf? I think that you cannot. That's right, all you have to do is pick him up. Why did I jump off? What? I hate when that happens. I remember that being you run too fast and can I just toss him off? Mm. No! You must fight with honor. It is against the royal rules to throw the king out of the ring. <laughs> I remember that now. Why can it be that Pip Squig like you has defused the Babam King? Yes. Alright. Skip through that. Uh. Does it still do the one thing that bothers me the most? Oh, yeah. As soon as you get a star, it sets you all the way back and goes boop. That always bothered me. I always wanted to just continue and then just keep collecting stars in that but it always makes you pop in and pop out so we're just gonna save and quit just because yeah that was get one star just get the feel of the game game still looks great game still plays fantastic so how do you go back to the no no i wanted to press b there you go Return to title selection. You have to hit the minus button. That's a, a simple one. So let's try the game of the cube. Now, like I said, this one I never played too much. I do have memories of it, but I don't have the fondness for it like I did uh, Mario 64. Welcome to 
the Sun French tropical paradise of Isle del Pino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Oh. Visit you on Isle del Pino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. I always thought that was a, a weird scene. Hey Mario, look at you! But you're right here, Mario. That's not me. I'm. A... And of course, the island looked like a dolphin. Hence, Isle Delfino. Press A. A to B to C. Let's go to. Oh, we start at the first. Start. And it's shaped like an L for Luigi because he's not here again. So it's Mario and Peach, but how come how come Luigi never gets to show up? Oh wait, that's right. They get to go to a tropical island while Luigi is in a haunted mansion at this time. It's paint poo. Now, one of the things I'm actually really interested in is Mario Galaxy and playing it, you know, like a Mario game should be played with controller and not freaking a Wiimote and a nunchuck. That's why I never really played the Wii. I wasn't a fan of shooting, jumping, and flailing around like a fart. Oh, did I actually jump off the head of a toad? And he's any he, and look at him, he's okay with it. It's all goopy. More like it's all poopy. This reminds me, I remember when uh, they released the Mario 128 demo. Oh, so cool. And you get in the water and wash it all off. That's such a weird move. And he's got short sleeves because he's on an island. I forget, who do I talk to? Oh, it's Flood! I never understood why he was just sitting there. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Incorporated. Preparing <coughs> to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject. The GameCube. One of the best and most underrated consoles of, of all time along with the, uh, the Dreamcast. I think of that generation, those two, I mean... 
consoles were just fantastic back then. I love my Super Nintendo and my Nintendo 64, my NES, but there was something about the GameCube that just, man. Hmm. Okay. I remember all this. And it's funny because I've been looking for Mario Sunshine for quite some time. Yeah, when you're in the water, you have unlimited amount of water. funny um in most games when i uh when i play shooters or whatnot uh, they, they didn't change it still shows the gamecube one that's weird That's how you change it. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. But like I was saying, in most shooters I usually play invert. But with this one, for some reason, I know it's not a shooter, but it feels like it should be. Because of the standard controls. No! Oh no! It's a goo! Gurana plant! Oh, so I have to shoot him in the face. And the ground comes back for some reason. And that's right, instead of stars in this one, you got suns. That's right, shines. They were shines. So, just like before, we're... Uh, well... Let's save and continue, just because I want to play around with it a little bit. Come on, let, let, can we skip this? No, of course we cannot skip this. I made a mistake. Here, let's do that. And we'll return to title selection just quickly since we're already on about a half an hour uh, with this video. Wow. That's weird. This game I have no fondness for. Barely any recollection of. I know I played it just for, like I said, maybe an hour or two when it came out. And I, I really didn't like it. I didn't like the Wii controls. I just wasn't a fan of the Wii. Oh, don't tell me. They're making me use gyro controls. Always pick Yoshi. Oh, 
No, I really, really hope they don't make me use gyro controls. What if you're using a control that doesn't have the gyro controls? Is this even playable? Makes me wonder. I have no fondness for this game whatsoever. I guess it's for the, the younger crowd that uh, I guess were kids during the Wii era. This is the, the Mario game that they know and love. So she's always giving you something. Well, that's good. You can still use the regular controls. Okay. It feels a little wonky. I don't know why. It, it doesn't feel as tight as the other Mario games. Maybe because of how it was originally motion controlled. I don't know, it feels a little off. But, one thing I will say now, I will probably play this game quite a bit more now that I know I can play it with real controls and not a a Wii moat. Ugh, Wii moat. I don't understand why everybody's complaining about Mario Galaxy 2 not being in this. Why would it make sense to put Mario Galaxy 2 in this? You got one Mario game, the first original Mario game from each system. Even though the GameCube in the 64 technically only had one, why would you put two Wii games? And then the Mario game that was for the Wii U came out, Super Mario U Deluxe? Was there just a Mario game specifically for the Wii U? I don't think so. I guess that would have been New Super Mario Bros. U. But not a 3D one like this. Or like Mario 64 Sunshine. And the Wii U still had the best eShop. The best. Even though uh, the WiiWare menu song is the most iconic and it's, it's great. So, can I punch? No. So I'm not sure what to do. Oh, so... Oh, you do have the pointing garbage. This just feels off. Why is that still on the screen? Get off the screen, I don't need you. So it's 60 bucks. This isn't a bad deal. It's $20 per game. You can play it on the Switch. You can take it with you. Play it on the Switch Lite. You know, that's it, it, it's nifty. And these games are rather expensive now on their own if you're getting them on their respective consoles. So Mario 64 now ranges anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks depending on the condition. And you know, uh, if you're trying to get a complete in box. I was lucky enough, I got it for 40 and now it's sitting around $100. Um, Mario Galaxy uh, is pretty cheap, 30 bucks at most, I think. Uh, but uh, Sunshine, whoo, that skyrocketed in the last year. The cheapest thing I saw that was around 60 bucks for 
uh, a complete copy and then I heard it just shot up again recently. I haven't checked that one in, but since I don't have it, it's actually nice to have this and now I can play Sunshine. I was actually feeling like playing Sunshine. I was looking for it and I was like, man, I can't get a hold of it. Was this how it was? They were captured by aliens? Bowser aliens? Ms. aliens? Bowser aliens? The Koopas turned into aliens? I don't know. I don't know. This, this Mario game just didn't do anything for me. I've also been a much bigger fan of the 2D side-scrolling. And I know a lot of people don't like New Super Mario Bros. U or U Deluxe. I loved it. I really loved that game. But hey, to each their own. But I did love Mario 64, and I re I like Sunshine. Never beat it, like I said. This this one I had Galaxy and Galaxy 2, and just they really didn't do much for me. Wow, that's so weird. Looking at how his straps they cut into his shoulders. That's kind of weird. It's a bunny. This is kind of odd. It's like they took the Animal Crossing world and made it small. Because that's how the worlds were. Whoa. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Now I remember why I never played it or went any further with it. The the movement and how the world moves and how you're running on and you get to the side. I, I don't get motion sickness or anything, but it's it feels like it's like messing with my head and my perception. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually turning my head to try to get the, the view straight. Yeah, I don't like this game. Now I remember why. I don't I, I, I don't like the, the upside down. Yeah, I didn't like this game. It's the viewpoint. I get... I, I, I can see the game's merit. I'm probably not going to go further. If we're just talking about how the game is, uh, it looks, looks great. It's... They, they, they took what you uh, saw and played on the Wii and made it better. Now you can play it with a controller and you still got that stupid cursor in the way. But at least you don't have to use uh, the Wii remote. Yeah, I can't play this any further. Yeah, I guess this will be one of those games that I never ever get to just because that really bothers uh, my head. But there you go, everybody. Sorry for a little longer video. We're, we're about almost 40 minutes at the end of this so thank you guys for watching tell me what you guys think if you picked up super mario 3d all-stars uh tell me which one is your favorite why you like which one drop it that in the comments below and uh if you haven't already hit that subscribe button which is actually subscribe in english not in spabooban yeah i just made it up mm, new language spabooban so thank you guys for watching remember head on over to redbandanagaming.com for all your latest goodness head on over to our teespring link in the description buy some shirts buy some socks buy some posters buy a blanket with my face on it yeah like i always said there's a story behind that and i'll tell it eventually and uh yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed all this like we always say be legendary thanks again